My name is Inuk Shukak Sangnak, and I am a throat singer, and I'm here to perform with the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. Somebody who has never heard throat singing before, it's a, a very weird sound because a lot of it is with your throat and your stomach and a lot of breathing. So that's what you'll hear and that's what you'll see when you first come across throat singing. Sometimes throat singing was a game. The two women would try and compete with each other. You would speed up and slow down and change the sound with your partner and then whoever laughs first is usually the loser. <laughs> so what we do is, is we mimic nature. We have different songs such as the wind, a song called the river, so that's the flowing river in the spring and summer and basically all the other little things that are around. If you close your eyes and listen to our songs then you'll be able to hear the wind or you'll be able to hear the geese flying. There's also another throat song which I was taught by a, a, a lady from northern Quebec and it's called Primerolopic and so the story behind this song is a little girl had some puppies and she wanted her favorite puppy to be the lead dog of her dad's dog team. And so she would sing this song to the little puppy in hopes that it would become the lead dog of the dog team. Throat singing was never as popular when I was younger as it is now because of residential school, essentially. Inuit were forced to assimilate, and so a lot of the arts side of the Inuit culture were taken away, or we were told not to do it or practice it. Throat singing is um, its kind of making a comeback in the Inuit culture over the last 20 to 25 years. The CBC put on a what they call the True North concert in 93 or 94, and that's the very first time I heard live throat singing. So I was about 14 when I first heard it, and I knew that I wanted to learn how to do it. Throat singing is really, really important uh, as it is one tiny aspect of Inuit culture and to be able to pass that on to the next generation is really important, which is why I have learned how over 20 years. It's really important to be able to expose Canada and the rest of the world to throat singing, to the arts side of Inuit culture and to be able to educate people where Inuit come from and where we hope to go with promoting our culture. <laughs> I won. <laughs>